Today we're going to be finishing up our two cans by adding a couple more things in oil pastel and then also finishing up the background and painting in the bird's feathers itself. So before, or actually as we begin, you're going to be um, coloring in the eye and you're going to use some sort of blue. It can be the darker blue or the turquoise, doesn't really matter. Uh, I like to only color in part of the eye. So I'm going to work in mine and just with a nice pressure to get a nice bright color. Just kind of color around your pupil. Okay, some of your eyes might be kind of small, but that works for me. Next, you're gonna take either a red and orange or kind of like the yellow orange, and you are gonna also color in this space that goes around the eye, kind of like that little circle. Again, if you color too lightly, it looks kind of like this. So you do wanna push down kind of hard to get a nice vibrant orange. And I find it easier to kind of turn my paper as I work. So if I were you, I would encourage you to do the same. Try to stay as neat as you can inside those lines. I know some of these oil pastels are getting kind of small, but just do the best you can with the coloring. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna blow off the extra I see there. And the last thing you're gonna do is gonna seem kind of sort of strange, but you're gonna actually take a white oil pastel and you are going to be going over the lines you see here with your wing within a white oil pastel. We are gonna paint the toucan pretty much completely black and because your Sharpie is black, if it's just painted over, it just looks, you kind of lose the wing. So the white's gonna kind of be like the protector. It's gonna protect the wing from getting covered up. So I'm just gonna take an oil pastel and over the outside edge of the wing and also the inside edge of the wing or the lines, I'm gonna go over it in white. Now, you are gonna cover it up a little bit, but you should still be able to see the Sharpie line pretty well through the white oil pastel. So kind of just finish going over every single line with the white and you will see why in a minute. When you finish with that, please do me a favor and kind of just put your oil pastels back in the box. I'm gonna come collect them once I see that you guys have the lid back on and that tells me that you're done. As you're working on the oil pastels, I'm gonna be passing out some watercolors and some water. Today for the background, that's where you're gonna start. You are gonna be using yellow, green, and blue. You're gonna kind of do a technique called wet on wet where you're doing a little bit of mixing in the background. We want the background to kind of remind us of a lush tropical jungle. So we aren't gonna be painting any like specific leaves, but almost kind of just like the mixture of what it would look like. So I'm gonna start with some yellow and I'm gonna make sure my brush is nice and wet. And when I'm working, I wanna work in small sections. So I'm gonna work kind of down in this bottom part first. I'm just gonna kind of paint short kind of brush strokes. And the longer you stir your brush in this paint, the darker and kind of the brighter your color will become. Now the trick here is that you do want almost kind of like little puddles of paint on your paper. So it can't be too dry or the mixing kind of wet on wet technique doesn't work. I'm gonna go back and now rinse my brush off and I'm gonna get some green. And I'm gonna paint kind of in the white spaces but I also want it to kind of touch my yellow a little bit and when you kind of mix the green and the yellow, they kind of make this really pretty lime green. So you do want to have some mixing happening, but not completely mixed up all the way. It's kind of a little bit of both. You can also do the same. I'm gonna rinse my brush off, and I'm gonna go back and grab a little bit of blue, and add a little bit of blue, oh, not enough. A little bit of blue kind of into my green, and it kind of makes this turquoise green color that's really pretty. So for your background, you're kind of just doing a mixture of those three colors until you basically have finished and kind of filled in all the way around the top edge. All right, so you can see that my background is pretty much finished up. I like that it's not just all one kind of green. There's kind of a mixtures of like yellowish greens, lime greens, regular green, kind of turquoisey greens. That's kind of what you're aiming for. I did get paint on my table. That's gonna happen because you're painting all the way off the edges. We will clean that up when you're all the way done. Now comes the kind of fun part because it's the final part. Now that you've finished your background, you're gonna move on and you're gonna do black for the rest of the toucan. There's one part you're gonna leave white and that's this little part right here that should stay just the white of the paper. 
along the edge here where you have wet paint over here you want to just kind of be careful that you're painting inside your sharpie that way you don't end up having your black and your green kind of bleed together so i'm going to get my brush nice and wet stir around in the black i like to kind of do my outlines first to kind of make sure that it's nice and neat so taking your time and kind of going along the edge as best as you can and when your brush looks kind of light gray or it's kind of starts sounding a little bit scratchy Go back and get a little bit more water and a little bit more paint. And like I said, I'm going to kind of finish all my outlines first. Just take your time doing a nice, neat job. And the nice thing is that over here by the oil pastel, you don't have to worry too much about it getting mixed up. That oil pastel kind of acts as a barrier. All right, now I get to fill in the rest. And remember, we put some white oil pastel here. So what you will see happen is an oil resist. Wherever I have put the oil pastel, the watercolor should not stick to it. And that really does help with us being able to see the wing, even though we're painting the whole bird black. So I'm gonna kind of keep on working until I finish up the black parts until it looks nice and even. Now that I'm finished, I'll take my paper very carefully with two hands back to the drying rack and notice that there is still some green kind of moving around. That's why you want to hold it flat so it's not going to be bleeding into the white parts here. I obviously have a big mess on my table to clean up, so as soon as you turn in your paper, then grab your washcloth and kind of just wipe down your spot for me.